amendment and all other protocols during and respectfully of the I greet you all in the most dignified manner of salutations with a quotation from the Holy Bible in the Gospel of John chapter 14 verse 27 which says Peace be with you, which miraculously means in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi morning and thank you for graciously appointing me as a speaker for today's auspicious occasion. I am honored to be here to give my deliberations on the team, the role of literature in national development. In my capacity as the founder and chairperson of the Writers Young Writers Association of the Gambia and the Interim Assistant Secretary General at the Writers Association of the Gambia. While working on my address for this lecture, I discovered a vital question from a fellow scholar. And on the letter addressed to me, she said, do we have Gambian literature books? making their ways in the Western world? If so, I am yet to see any Gambian author won a global prize. She ended. Before I respond to her question, I've learned that you should never give a speech that lasts more than 20 minutes, because in 20 minutes, any audience of average intelligence will figure out that you don't know what you're saying. So considering the intelligence of my audience today, I will give my remarks in just 15 minutes. Let me seduce your intelligence by stressing myself, having you to look at the causes which of course are the calamitous decline in the conjunction of Gambian literature in the Western world. Education and research are perceived to be the key elements in the progress and change and central in the development of knowledge-based countries. However, transformation in society requires a new approach to education which requires discussing the role of literature in national development. The Gambia enacted the copyright ordinance in 1911 by the colonial government and actually what came out of our country by then were texts and reports. We started writing and taking ownership of our literature after independence. I said in my critically acclaimed book entitled The Throne of the Ghost published in the US in 2016, that when flowers turn and become fruits, they always tend to forget that they are from a plant. Actually, several reports have pointed out to the new learning reality and the need for rethinking the whole learning enterprise. If countries were to succeed in the global knowledge-based society, there is need, along with all other sectors of society, literature in Africa is undergoing a major alteration rationalization, restructuring, and redefinition to respond to many social economic developments and educational needs of the modern African society. Several observers have pointed out that during the last decades, technology, globalization, and competition have caused the ground to shift on the higher education in Africa, defying that not much has changed in the education curricula in Africa and required a total alteration with the help of books and libraries. However, how many libraries have we in our country? I am a university librarian and a director of academic research at the African Development University in the Republic of Nigeria, where I studied as an independent researcher. I read Library and Information Studies and Intellectual Property and Collective Management of Copyright. I am tempted to question if the University of the Gambia has a library. A nation without library is like a nation without citizens. 
or a library which have books. As an internal part of education, literature plays a fundamental role in implementing and managing internal change and continue to foster new trends in education and research. Changes in higher education, the new student-centered paradigm, and new learning and teaching approaches have also created a need for a reconceptualization of the roles and responsibilities of literature in national development. Literature strives to provide quality patron services, promote reading, and encourage lifelong learning using accessible resources. The goal of every writer is to provide a society.